what does God reward men for? I've shared it here time and time again, perhaps to recap for your understanding. Number one, God rewards diligent pursuit. When people seek God truly, he rewards them. Most of us approach God with a salary mentality. So at the end of the month, you say, God, where is my reward? That's not how it works. Sometimes for five years, you will not see him speak. Two years, you will not see him speak. But my goodness, the day he comes, he comes to reward you in a way that it becomes clear. He makes a statement in rewarding you. Diligent pursuit. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must come believing that he exists and then that he is the rewarder, not of Christians, of them that diligently seek him. What does God reward? God rewards faithfulness. Faithfulness. Consistency regardless the consequences. God rewards it. You would have been a multi-millionaire right now if you compromised. But your integrity has kept you in this state. Find hope. The rewarder is coming. Oh yes, the works of men are written in heaven. God rewards. God rewards faithfulness. Listen, there are precious workers in this ministry, I tell you. From as early as five or six, they are up and doing, running around, stretching themselves from pillar to post. If you were God, will you leave them like that? My dear people, sit back and watch the God who rewards, reward you this year. You need to come and watch the prayer department on Tuesday. And you see these people travail from children to grandmothers, crying in the name of the Lord. How does God forget this kind of thing? How about those who give silently, not wanting to be known? They do it because they love Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes you see our precious ushers holding people here under the anointing and sometimes you see them fall. Some of them are wounded. All kinds of things yet you see them laughing with joy. They are not fools. Anybody who makes you believe serving Jesus is foolishness. You don't need to answer. Allow God himself who designed the system reward you in a way that people can say, wow, this is serious. So this is how God can reward those who serve him hallelujah there are some of you serving god has almost become a shame and a mockery when it's time to go to church yet come the naysayers you are going again they would deceive you take away your money indoctrinate you and send you back as a foolish person and you feel guilty loving jesus oh goodness except you do not know the god of the bible this is the year that you will arise in power and it will surprise you beyond your imagination God rewards diligent pursuit. God rewards faithfulness. God rewards sacrifice. God rewards the motif of men. You see, you can do a lot of good things like you have learned. If it is with a corrupted heart, you will not get your reward. For instance, eye service. You know what we call eye service? Doing good things just so that you can have a good name. So that you can preserve your reputation before men. Oh dear. You already have your reward. The perception you are struggling to give them is your own reward. But if from the depth of your heart, loving and serving Jesus, I want to tell you that God rewards the sincerity of men's hearts. Hallelujah. The sincerity of men's hearts. Now, write this down. What is the prophetic implication of this year's prophetic word? 